If you fell for the title and assumed that this video is truly about a quick fix, then you've missed the fundamental point of the law of assumption. Let us declutter and simplify our conscious goal. Note the word, conscious, before the goal. The larger goal is obviously to manifest, but the local conscious goal is not reaching our desires themselves. Stop trying to manifest fast. Besides, the obvious self-defeating connotations of the phrase, trying to, you're focused on the wrong immediate goal. Make not mistake. It's not that your manifestation cannot come into fruition at a fast rate, but rather, it might take your mind some time before it starts absorbing new paradigms. Understand that the place where you want to put your new paradigms is already occupied with the old. Like a new king, it must usurp the old to occupy this new kingdom that is your subconscious mind. We often forget that manifestation isn't mechanical like inserting coins and pressing some sort buttons on a vending machine. You can affirm, my SP loves me, a thousand times, and if you still end up feeling a deep-seated sorrow, every time, in your chest that you can't seem to shake, then you'll be in the same place. Chances are you're too process-oriented instead of being goal-oriented. I'm not talking about the goal of manifesting your desire, but the goal of impressing your subconscious. Think of your subconscious as a different entity that lies outside of you. Even though that's not true, just assume it to be, for a few seconds. Relative to your conscious, your subconscious is almost like another person, a very stubborn friend who is refusing to change his or her ideas. This stubborn friend who keeps talking, but doesn't seem to listen. Your subconscious speaks in the language that is your conscious 3D reality. So, while you can't read the subconscious like an open book, you can indirectly get a glimpse of it, through how your 3D is working. So, in order to change her ideas, you would need to employ different techniques. All promises of a fast manifestation, ends up externalizing the cause of our manifestation. It often distracts us from the root 3D cause of our manifestations. When I say root 3D cause, I'm referring to the act of impressing our subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is ultimately responsible for chauffeuring us towards the destination of our manifestation but it is our conscious that gives us the initial set of instructions. So, instead of focusing on manifestation, it's best to ask ourselves, how can I impress my subconscious in the quickest and smoothest way possible? In trying to manifest fast, we will inevitably find ourselves doing something to speed up the process, which is again a huge distraction from the truth. So, to sum it up, the only doing your conscious must focus on, is the act of impressing one's subconscious with events consistent with your end goal, and not acting towards the goal of our desires directly.